What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Josh. Let me turn the air off real quick. Pause. Before I really interrupted myself. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Josh here with Super Sport Enthusiast SSE. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit. I want to talk about something very important. All right. So today's facts because everybody was mad about the C8. Listen, most of the time if I see a vlog, if I see a, a, a blog out, talking about a car something about the automotive industry I will talk about it doesn't mean that it is facts it just means they have talked or they say they have contact so what I'll do is I'll make sure I reference better hey guys like I was saying today's video is going to be about the 2021 Cadillac CTSV black wing alright so again remember they both since the 650 horsepower and guess what yes it's going to come with a six-speed manual the information we're talking about today and the post that we are talking about today is from cars and drivers Damn, I'll make sure I pop it up on the side of the screen so you guys can see, all right? So again, it says here the CTS, the CT5. Why do I keep saying CTS? I'm so stuck on the V, uh, the CTS. But the CT5, all right, V, Blackwing Edition, all right, it will be the new top dog for Cadillac's performance. So we know, remember, the CTS Vs or uh, all these different CTSs. Now they're going to the CT5s or whatever. So that's pretty cool, right? So this one will have a supercharged 6.2 liter. Um, we spoke about that in an older video. I even got some hectic trouble for that, which I don't understand. This one's going to be, again, V8. Still rocking the LT4 um, 650 horsepower platform. And yes, fortunately, it is going to have a manual. So all my Save the Manual people out there, it is here. So be ready to shine for that one also. All right, so when can we expect this CT5? Um, the CT5 is going to be expected later this year. With a starting price tag about 85000 Again, that's something, um, price tag that Cars and Drivers stated. We will see how official and correct that is as more as we go in through it. So let's roll down a few pages here and see. So it says, uh, now this is a little confusing, of course, but let's try to keep it simple. Please send the, com uh, wow, did I just spit? Ew. Please send your complaints to Cadillac. Uh, that's again, they're already brushing off any issues that they may have. The next thing to swallow is the performance oriented CT5 is not the new CTSV. Uh, what? What does that even mean? It's a successor of the CTSV Sport. So if you guys know much about Caddy, which I don't, I'm a Chevy head, even though it's under GM, but still, I don't know much about the CTS or CTSV or CT5 or CT6, but this is what we're reading so far from cars and drivers um, so they pretty much explain it the next legit V will be known as the CT5 V Blackwing a lot of people know the Blackwing as an engine but this is gonna be the CT5 Blackwing okay so let's try to make sense of that that is correct okay the engine but now it's also the name of a full power V series vehicle Alright, so here's the final bit um, to understand, and let's see what they have posted about it exactly. Alright, so Cars and Drivers posted this right here. They said there will also be the CT4 uh, V Blackwing, which is to expect to have the turbocharged V6. Cadillac, Cadillac hopes the CT5 V Blackwing will make the name for itself, competing against, um, you know, the mostly, like the AMGs and um, Audi RSs, Mercedes AMGs, E63s different stuff like that also the BMW M5 Audi R6 uh, RS7 I love the RS7 that's a pretty sick car um, other competitors will include the Alfa Romeo uh, we know Porsche p the Porsche Panam Panorama Panamera oh, Lord Jesus the Porsche Panamera uh, Turbo S Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat but price is why Cadillac will undercut the German competitor with the starting price around 85000 stated by Cars and Drivers. So that would be a pretty good price because my friend Justin, Justin, if you're watching this because I know you love CTSV videos, I believe like his started at like one over six, over 100. So 100, 105, 110, that's what he got his for about. So these things aren't cheap, but you still got the bad boy engines in them. You see some good news here. It says just to make sure the uh, Blackwing version of the ct5 is up to flight all right making sure that it's good to make sure that this cadillac is going to come out they want the blackwing edition to rock the socks off of these other automotive industries so the cadillac will it will fit it with an updated v8 version all right there's cadillac ctsvs that they're used to that 6.2 liter supercharged v8 they're going to keep that not the 550 horsepower twin turbo 4.2 liter blackwing v8 uh, they expect the engine to make a 650 horsepower 
and it will be available with a 10 speed automatic so the 10 speed from the Mustang and 10 speed from the ZL1 will be put into the CTS the CT5 or the CT4 whatever they decide to do it but it's also going to have that 6 speed manual for all you manual head save the manual guys out there so that's pretty good I was a manual person myself but honestly I'm growing more on the 10 speed you know uh, manual is fun it's more interactive it's a driver's car more skills stuff as such but honestly, the 10 speed is faster, it's quicker, you can't beat a computer, and I've learned my lesson with that, owning that manual my whole life. This is, uh, the ZL1 is my first 10 speed, and I am so, so in love with that car. They did here, they said, hopefully, um, they don't mess up when it comes to, like, there's a little bit of concerns when it comes to the Blackwing. They feel like it might not handle as well as its predecessors, recently exposed to the Blackwing 360 horsepower version. Um, they hopefully they can keep that coming. The driver stated that they were a little concerned about the handling of the new Blackwing, um, see if it's going to handle as well as his pre predecessor, right? They have recently tested a 360 horsepower CT5V. Uh, gives us the hope that the Cadillac still knows how it's tuned, you know, tuned performance and hope that the drive, like the new Blackwing sedan, hope it drives nice like that car. Then. So it's all up to Cadillac, man. This car looks more aggressive, it looks lower in the front. Um, I like the body. I like where they're going. It looks it's still a sedan, but it looks a little sleeker a little more aerodynamic in the front a lower front end You tell me what you think in the, in the comments below look at these pictures compared To the pictures of like an older one think about the old the other CTSV from last year You know the 2020s or 2019s or 18s now look at this 21 looks nice. It looks amazing well guys, I don't want this video to be too long. Like I said, I just wanted to talk about some of the stuff that Cars and Driver posted. Um, the article is the link in the description below, so check that out. Um, tell me what your opinion is, man. I think I'm, I'm excited to see what the CT5V has. Uh, we know that they're coming with the CT4V. Pretty much the CTSs are done for. Uh, if I'm missing any information or anything, let me know. That's what it is about, all right? So Cars and Drivers posted a pretty cool article. I wanted to talk to you guys about it, with you guys about it, and I thought it was pretty awesome. But sorry about the glasses. It's super bright outside. But until next time, guys, don't forget, it's your boy Josh here with Super Sport Enthusiasts. I love you guys. I respect you guys, and I damn sure salute you. Please stay safe. Please stay quarantined. Wash your hands, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Your reflection in my wine glass. That's when I look away Can't stand and think about losing your fine ass How the fuck I let you slip away Life for the party but I'm dead inside Kill my vibes, it was genocide Hard to act like I've been alive I'm trying to find where I identify